Players get to know their teammates in this warm-up we call the name game. Use a half-court size space. Here's how it looks. The whole team stands in a circle with one ball. This is a really good opportunity for us to warm up our brains and learn our teammates' names. The game starts when you pass the ball to another player in the circle. They say their name before passing to a different player. Once everyone in the circle has gotten a turn to introduce themselves, switch up the rules and ask players to say the name of the player they're passing to before sending them the ball. I'm going to pass it to Travis, but I'm going to say Travis' name. So Travis. Travis is going to pass it to Elijah. Remind players to make eye contact with the teammate they're passing to. In basketball, communication is key. And you can't communicate on the court unless you know all your teammates' names. Awesome. Do you think we can add a second ball? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good. Players practice agility and coordination in this fun dribbling game called Red Light, Green Light. Use a half court size space and mark off two lines using either the sidelines or four cones. Here's how it looks. Players begin at the starting line. Everyone gets a ball. When you call out green light, green light. players speed dribble ahead. Yellow light. When you say yellow light, they slow down. On red light, they do a jump stop and bring the ball into triple threat position at their waist. Once they reach a sideline, they can turn around and keep playing. Yellow light. Red light. Good. Yellow light. After a minute or two, choose a new color and assign that light its own action. If I say orange, you guys got to do five jumping jacks with the ball. This game is great for releasing pent up energy. Just call out lots of green lights. Encourage players to use proper dribbling, using their fingertips to keep the ball low and in control. Practice dribbling in this game that helps introduce players to their teammates. We call it Gimme Five. Use a half court. The space inside the three-point line is the playing area. Here's how it looks. On your call, Go. everyone starts dribbling around the space high-fiving as many of their teammates as possible with their non-dribbling hand. Play short 30-second rounds and ask players to keep track of how many high-fives they make. Who's the best teammate? How much you get? You got how many? 18. Then see if they can beat their high score in the next round. Ready, set, go! Beginners may double dribble or travel. Remind them to follow the bouncing ball and dribble it wherever they go. It's also important for players to keep their heads up and their eyes open. This will help them avoid collisions and get them used to multitasking while dribbling. Ah, go! Players listen closely and explode into a sprint in this fast-paced game we call Mascot Tag. Use a half-court size space. Use the sidelines as goal lines or create them using two cones each. Then, mark the halfway point between the two goal lines. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two equal teams and line them up facing each other at the middle line. Everyone has a ball. Tell each team to name itself after who they think is the fastest pro basketball team. So we have the Bucks versus the Raptors. Then tell your players a story. So I was walking down the street the other day and I had my dog and his name is Raptor. The first time you mention a team's name, that team must turn and dribble to the sideline nearest them. The other team immediately tries to chase and tag the opponent standing across from them before they can make it to safety. Players get a point for making it to the sideline safely or for tagging an opponent before they can get there. Play multiple rounds, encouraging players to accumulate as many points as they can. For more control running while dribbling, Remind players that the only part of their hand that should touch the ball are their fingertips. They should pound the ball into the ground, keeping their head up and eyes open to watch where they're going. One, two, three, Mojo! Players practice changing direction while dribbling in this game called Team Tag. Use a half court. 
The space inside the three-point line is the playing area. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams, one in pennies, and give everyone a ball. One of the teams is it. The blue team, you guys are gonna be taggers first, okay? On your call. Ready, go! They work together to tag as many players as they can in one minute. Once they're tagged, players must complete five jumping jacks to rejoin the game. Give the IT team a point for every tag they make. After a minute, swap roles and challenge the next tagging team to beat their score. And stop! Okay, so 21 for the blue team. Now we're gonna switch. The black team is now tagging. Go! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Stay inside the three-point line! Team tag is great for the beginning of practice. It gets players loose and comfortable dribbling and cutting or quickly changing directions. Encourage players to look for open space on the floor that they can dribble towards to avoid getting tagged. And stop! It's all bring it in. Great job, great effort. The beauty of that game is you are learning how to dribble with your eyes up, change, dribble with different hands, change directions without even knowing it. It's awesome. Players practice navigating the court in this game we call pattern dribbling. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Players start standing on the half-court line, each holding a ball. Here, players learn the most important lines on the court. The baseline, sidelines, free throw line, lane lines, and the three-point line. When you call out one of the lines on the court, baseline! Players dribble there as fast as possible and return to half-court. Start off simple, then mix it up by calling out sequences with multiple areas. Right, we got sideline to sideline! You can get creative and name the lines after your player's favorite animals or characters. Who's your favorite um, Avenger character? Hulk. Hulk. Okay, beautiful. When I say Hulk, okay, the side lines are now Hulk. Ready? Hulk! Beginners may dribble too high and balls can start flying. Encourage them to keep the ball below their hips, taking small control dribbles to keep the ball close and under control. Make it across without losing possession in this basketball twist on a classic. This is Sharks and Minnows. Use a half court size space. Then mark two goal lines using cones or use the sidelines. Here's how it looks. Line players up along the goal line. Everyone gets a ball. Tell players they are minnows swimming across the ocean. But beware, there's a shark out there. That's you, coach. On your call, yeah! Players must dribble from one goal line to the other without the shark knocking their ball away. If they do, they become a shark and help you on the next turn. All right, we got two sharks. Go! Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I got you. I got you. Come here, Logan. Play until there are no minnows left and everyone's a shark. Here, players practice navigating the court while dribbling and protecting the ball. To do so, they'll need to change up their speed and direction it will keep the shark guessing and keep defenders on their toes in the actual game. One, two, three, chop, chop! Players practice decision-making while dribbling in this game we call construction site. Use a half-court size space and place cones to define the playing area. Then scatter cones throughout, some knocked over, some right side up. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two teams, bulldozers and builders. Everyone gets a ball. Ready, set, go! On your call, the builders try to place all the cones right side up as the bulldozers try to knock them down, all while dribbling. Play short rounds, about a minute long. When time is up, tally how many cones are right side up and how many are on their sides. Stop! Whichever side has more wins the round. I think my builders won this game. Good job, you guys. Here, players have to keep their heads up and their eyes open to see where cones are scattered and avoid bumping into other players. Guarding cones may be a clever strategy, but it's not allowed in this game. So remind players to stay in constant motion. Good job, good hustle. Don't burn your toe off in this game that helps players pass with precision. It's time for The Floor is Lava. 
Use a half-court size space. Uh-oh, it's made of lava. Scatter cones randomly throughout, spaced about five feet apart. These are the islands. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into pairs and give each one a ball. On your call, go. pairs take turns passing to their partner and catching the ball. But they can only do so while standing at an island. No dribbling allowed here, it's too hot. Once a player passes to their partner, they must run to an open island to receive the next pass. Pairs repeat this pattern, keeping track of how many passes they can make before time is up. Three, two, one, freeze! Play short rounds, about a minute long. Then, challenge pairs to make at least one more pass in the next round. Remind players to use proper passing form, using both hands to push the ball toward the target taking a step forward in that direction and following through with both arms. Good job, bring it on in. One, two, three. Players practice moving as a team in this tag game we call Snake. Use a half court. The space inside the three-point line is the playing area. Here's how it looks. Ask for a volunteer to be the snake. Every other player gets a ball. On your call, players start dribbling throughout the space as the snake tries to Good. tag them. Oh, so close. If they get tagged, you guys gotta connect. players must place their ball to the side and join the snake. The more tags, the longer the snake gets. Everyone in the snake can tag. Play until the snake has no one left to tag. Then choose a new volunteer and play again. This game is all about communication and coordination. As the snake gets bigger and bigger, encourage players to talk to each other and set a game plan. Tags won't count if the snake falls apart, so remember to stick together. Good job. I want to hear your best snake impression. Ready? One, two, three. 